Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is a special episode because it's going to be our very first attempt at a boss here in this series. So, boy, have I uh, really been doing a lot of work uh, to prepare for this fight. Um, I am... Uh, I'm not con too concerned about it, but, I mean, I wasn't too concerned about going into the Western Sea Cave the first time either. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I think I've um, I think I've done a pretty good job of preparing for this fight. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. So let's just kind of go over a couple things before we get started uh, with the fight itself. Uh, we got Big Bird here. Big Bird is a very high level, 20,000 health, um, almost 9,000 stamina. Most of the points that I've put into the uh, this dino has been into stamina. I don't know why he's not eating. I put some meat in here earlier. So let's give him a little bit of food there. Um, and then all of the Therizinos are, um, yeah, that is weird. All the Therizinos, um, are a minimum of, of 700 melee and some of them are fair, you know, uh, quite a bit higher than that too. Um, and 21,000 health. Uh, which, from what I understand, is the the sweet spot for a Therizino health in relation to, um, you know, when it eats the, uh, you know, getting maximum benefit from eating a veggie cake. Uh, they'll they'll consume a veggie cake when their health drops below eighty five percent, and then it'll heal them for ten percent of their maximum health over, over thirty seconds or something like that. Uh, so each Therizino has ten veggie cakes, which is probably quite a bit more than they're going to need for this fight, but. I wanted to over prepare for our very first boss fight. Um, so yeah, each Therizino is pretty much very similar to this one in terms of their health. Uh, melee damage is at least 700, um, if not higher. And um, they all have the Ascendant Saddles on them that we made one or two episodes ago. I can't remember now, uh, you know, when we did the Mind Wipe. So, um, but of course the level of the Saddles themselves uh, vary a little bit. Um, I have three groups set up. So group one is the main attack group. So the plan is that when we enter the arena, um, we send group one immediately uh, after the boss to take it head on. Group two on the left, I'm going to send over uh, a ways off to the left. And three, I'm going to send a ways over off to the right to try and flank the boss um, on both sides so that they're not all just clumped up in front of it uh, with those in the back, you know, potentially not you know getting full hits on the boss i'm not sure exactly how that works but um it, it seems to me like when they're all clumped up in front of it the ones that are all the way in the back may not be getting hits in on the boss which is not efficient of course uh so that's a plan for them uh all of um my duty is set to ignore whistles um yeah so it, so it's set to ignore whistles um but it is going to follow me and of course, the job of the UD will be to keep the roars up once I kind of get all of the uh, movements taken care of. If you didn't know this, the UD's Courage Roar gives the dinos 25% more damage and 20% um, uh, damage resistance, I guess it is. Yeah, damage resistance. Uh, so yeah, and I, th I think we're, we're, we're as, as prepared for this fight as we can be um, under the circumstances. So... Um, we're going to do Gamma Brood right now, of course, and then my plan for this episode is to also do Gamma Megapithecus. And for some reason, I haven't been able to figure this out. All of my terminals, whether I'm at green, red, or blue obby, give me access to all bosses. We're only supposed to be able to have access to Broodmother from the green obby, but for some reason, I don't know what setting it is that I have turned on that you know, that makes it that way. I, I didn't do it on purpose, but it's the way that it is. So, um, eventually though, I plan to get the tech transmitter, I think it's called. And, and then that we can just go do the boss fights directly from there. Anyway, I've got all the tribute in here for, uh, Gamma Brood here. And, um, we don't need, um, we don't need trophies. We just need the artifacts when we're doing the Gamma bosses. For those of you who don't know that, and I think we're ready to do this. So, let's do it. Okay. 
We'll get started with the courage roar with these guys. We'll make sure we're we have group one selected first. And uh, yeah, let's do this and see what happens. Uh, okay. Get on you. Make sure one is selected and have one there. Okay, let's move two off to the left, three off to the right. And then as soon as I can get unentangled here. There we go. All right. Three attack, two attack. And then that's pretty much all we can do at this point. We just keep the courage roars up. But as you can see, we are tearing the brood a new one here. So this fight's going to be pretty much no contest, which is what I was expecting. That's the way we want to see it happen, man. That's the way we want to see it happen. And she's down. All right, cool. Um, well, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, love to see that pop up. Okay. Um, we're supposed to, aren't we supposed to get like a little, uh, oh, there it is. It's going to say a little thingamadoodle. 20 element and gamma brood mother's head. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I would dare say that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that was pretty damn easy, man. Um, that's more or less what I expected, but I didn't know for sure because, you know, Ascended has uh, definitely surprised me before. One thing I forgot to do, which was dumb on my part, is I forgot to take my soups. Um, and it does look like it's hot in here, so that's good to know for future reference. Um, you know, we want to at least have Kalian going on uh, for that. And we got our flag, too. Uh, we will be working on getting our um, uh, trophy room set up now that we're going to start doing the bosses too. So yeah, there we go. All right. Get a couple of bites for posterity off on the on the boss there. So yeah, um, we are let, we're going to get geared up next to do um, Gamma Megapithecus. Um, I'm also not expecting to have any major issues in that fight. <laughs> And honestly, we, we didn't really need to probably do the groupings in this one. Well, we definitely didn't do it in Gamma, but when we do Alpha uh, Brood, um, we, we'll we probably do it there for sure. So, anywho, so let's see how you guys are looking. I mean, just... Yeah, they're, they're, they're hardly scratched. I mean, for the most part, right? They're just... Let's uh let's see if we can look at it this way. I'm just looking for anybody that has a lot of health missing. You had have, have a little bit there. Of course, all of these theories include all my mothers back at the uh, uh back at the main base too. But no, they're 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 in good shape, man. That that was uh, that was no contest. It really was, uh, which again, you know, that's what I assumed it would be. But now we know for sure. Okay. Um. It is possible that this army could defeat, uh, as it is right now, could defeat Alpha uh, Brood Mother Two. It's not the uh, the army that I raised for that but uh they made a good showing of themselves in fact let's give them some some heals just to really top them off here but um we're not gonna do that right now anyways the the next the plan of course is to do mega pithecus next uh and i'm gonna have to run back to the base and get the artifacts for that 
Um, we I'd like to do Gamma Dragon too, but I don't have Artifact of the Cunning, uh, which is the Eastern Sea Cave. I wonder if it might be worth our while just to see if we can ninja in there on an uh, Ichthyosaurus and just see what the chances are of us possibly nabbing that thing. Um, maybe we'll do that. But let's worry about that later, right? Right now, our next goal is to do Gamma Megapithecus. So let me get these guys uh, healed up, uh, resituated, and then uh, we'll go hit Megapithecus here in just a little bit. I'm going to run back to the base and get the artifacts for that. All right, guys, we are back and ready to give uh, Gamma Megapithecus a shot. Uh, I grabbed all the artifacts that I have for both uh, Gamma Megapithecus and Dragon, uh, but I don't have Cunning uh, for Dragon, but I figured I'd bring the artifacts out here anyways. Um, so for um, Megapithecus, we need Devourer, uh, Pack, and... Uh, brute. Wait. Didn't I... What? What the hell happened to Devourer? I just put it in there and it disappeared. What? Did I not just drag the Devourer artifact into here a second ago? Did it... Did it fall out on the ground? Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. All right, I'm going to go back and look at the footage. Hold on. All right, guys. So I went back and looked at the footage, and I most definitely had the artifact of the Devourer, and I put it in there, and it just went poof. So I just spawned a new one in. Let's see if this one will stay. Okay, good. I I, I can't explain them, but, you know, this is Ark. <laughs> jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um. All right, so that gets us ready to go with Gamma Mega. Um... All of the theories are ready to go. Uh, I don't think a single one of them ate a veggie cake for that Gamma Broodmother fight that I could, I could tell. They all had their veggie cake, which is good. Um, so, yeah, I think we're ready to do this. We're not going to have different groupings. Um, yeah, so I want to make sure everybody is together in the, a single group the reason for it is megapithecus once you the the you he engages you he throws your army all over the place and just wades through them and turns every other direction so there's no point in trying to um uh you know flank him yeah there's no point in doing that okay so let's um remember to take our soups this time uh we that we're not gonna need kaylian soup in there but we'll take all this other stuff and, oh, I was going to also, I don't want to take the uh, artifacts in with us. I could probably just leave these in the terminal, but because it's acting weird, I'm not going to take any chances. Incidentally, I don't think I mentioned this to you guys, but I, I'm not wearing or equipped with anything that I can't easily recover with blueprints or with backups either. So um, there you have it. All right, let's do this. Gamma Megapithecus. Uh, most people consider Megapithecus to be the easiest of the three bosses. And I've seen nothing in Arc Ascended from videos that I've watched so far to suggest otherwise. But that doesn't mean we should take it for granted either, so... Okay, so we're all in the same group. That's good. And what I'm going to do, as usual, because this is the island arena is I'm going to pull everybody back away from the, the drop-off and then try and lure Megapithecus to us. That's just the safest way to do this fight. Okay, so that means we want everybody to just go way back here. All right, that should be good. Uh, we just need to stay away from that drop off over there. Okay, you guys stay uh, neutral for the time being. Let's top you off on your courage. 
Sometimes Megapithecus will just come right on over here too, but uh, we might have to go grab him. And sometimes you can bring your army up to him too, but you don't want to engage him on the bridge is the thing. Because that's where people can, well people, Thanos can go over the top. Hey yo! Oh boy, here we go. Come get me, sucker. Oh, he's stuck. Look at that. How funny. Okay, I'm putting everybody on aggressive. Just so that when he gets over here... Here comes his minions. Okay. Passive, get back over here, quick. Let him come to us. Which he is doing. Okay, get him. Those big stones of his do hurt. Uh, Soldier 2 stuck over there. Uh, or no, I guess it got thrown back, maybe? And you down. Awesome. Okay. And they put the... There we go. Look at that. Freaking awesome, dude. Okay. Let's go grab the Lutskis. Nice. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get our... Oh! We got 40 element for that. Not 20 like we did with Brood. Nice. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll definitely have to get our, um, trophy room going. Maybe we'll even work on that in the next episode. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, um, here's the plan. We're going to go back. I'm going to go back get the dinos resituated once again, uh, healed up. I'm sure some of them took a little bit of damage, but nobody looks seriously hurt, uh, except for him. <laughs> and, um, <coughs> I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and ninja artifact of the cutting um at least give it a give it a try and uh, and if we can do that then then we'll try gamma dragon um in this episode okay so i'll see you um probably when i'm ready to enter the east sea cave all right guys we are ready to give this a try um the name of the game here is Evasive Action. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, we might die horribly. Um, but, yeah, we're going to give it a shot here. Uh, let's take our soups just for the hell of it. And uh, see what happens here. So I, I haven't actually been in this cave yet in Ark Ascended. I've ran it many times in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, but this will be my first time going into the cave in Ascended. Okay, so... Um, we probably should stay close to the top. Yeah, okay, there's, there's enemies and they're already coming after me. Um, okay, well, let's just do this and let's move through here quickly. Um, you know, it's the it's the eels that are going to be the biggest potential challenge here. There you 
dark and gloomy in here. Um, I'm just trying to get my my bearings. I know that the entrance to the artifact room is actually not at the end of the cave. It's somewhere off to the right in one of these earlier rooms. Uh, it's just, man, it is so dark in here. So I just have to kind of get my my bearings on where everything is. Um, I think I'm too far in. Oh yeah, we got that. That's where we need to go. We need to go down to this alien structure thingy. But and then somewhere down here into this hole, yeah, where we got to go. I really don't like the lighting in here. It makes it so difficult to see what the hell's going on. Um, okay, there. Okay, yep, yep. So th the plan here is to see if I can evade. the monsters and pull them away from the artifact. So for I am just having one hell of a time trying to see what's going on here. So we might need to do a gamma command. It's just that I don't want to stop right at the moment to, to do that. So let's get back. Let's get back out of here for a second. And go gamma 3.5. Okay, we'll try that. All right, so am I currently being pursued by anything? Does not appear to be the case. So, all right, yeah, so our tactic here is go swim near the artifact and try and pull all the uh, all the baddies away from it and then try and circumvent them and then come back and grab and snatch the artifact as quick as possible. That is the plan. Now whether or not it's going to work that way is anybody's guess. There isn't really anything in this room unless something's just going to materialize, which does happen sometimes. So we could like pull them all into this room and then, you know, skirt around them or something. There's just so many monsters down here though. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, I don't want to get... Let the eels get too close because... Of their stun, of course. Okay, now let's circle back around. Grab it quick. We got it. Okay. Whew. Dang, man. It's intense. Okay, let's pull these eels even further away. Will they follow me all the way out? That would be nice. Now, what we're going to do is... We're going to... Oh, shoot. I thought... Oh, crap, that scared me. Um, I thought I had my um, otter with me, but I left it back at the sea base. So what... Let's do this. Since that worked reasonably well... Um, actually, it worked very well. Uh, let's go back 
and grab the otter and come in and see if we can snag another one. We only need those artifacts for the dragon. So this is it's not like we have to run this cave on a regular basis, not like the Western Sea Cave, which we will have to run on a regular basis. Uh, only because I'm planning on farming Alpha Mega. Uh, I just got... Oh shit, I got turned around. I'm trying to think, remember how to get out of this place. There's a, a drop right there. Oh shit! No, no, no. Yeah, we're not here to hunt for drops, man. We're here to try and figure out how to get out of here. I'm like completely mixed, mixed up now. Um, let's go. Okay, so we got this bridge here. I remember that landmark. And I think we turn right and go this way. Just avoid, avoid, avoid. This cave's very confusing. But we know we're we know we're getting out of it now because of the the load. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go drop this off at the eastern sea base, uh, which is just not very far to the north of us. Grab the otter and let's come back in and see if we can nab this again. Um, because if we can. We might not even have to bother with this cave at all. I mean, I'll probably still do it anyways. Do it legit with the army at least once. So that we can say that we did, you know? But my army's not ready yet. I got to get it leveled. Uh, my sharks are all imprinted, but they're not leveled yet. So we could that's an alpha there. We could probably sick them on that alpha. But that's not what we're doing today. This, this episode's about... Conquering all three of the Gamma bosses. That's what, what our goal is. We are back. And we're going to give this another shot here. Um, we need two more of these artifacts. Because we're, we're going to need one for Alpha Dragon. And we're going to need one for... Uh... Shit. Uh, for a minute there, I thought that eel was maybe stuck in a mesh. Um, and then we're going to need one, you know, of course, for our display room, too, so. But, like I said, I'm, I, I will run this cave and actually clear it, too. Um, just because that's part of... Oh, there's a bunch of bad guys there. You know, part of what we're doing here. So, we just want to try and pull... All the baddies away from here. Uh, you know what? I think there's a, another shark. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's... Okay, so there's some Dunkleosis down there. Grab that. Oh, no! Don't go down! Oh, shit! I'm stuck! No, 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 no! Got disoriented. I'm still disoriented. I'm trying to get out of here. There we go. Okay. Ooh. No. We just lost half of our health. So here's what we're going to do. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Well, here, let's just get all the way up here. Make sure nothing is... Currently aggroed on us. Okay, I think we're safe for the moment. Okay, let's get that in the otter's inventory. Okay, so we just got to do this one more time, but... We took some hits there, man. Um, do I have fish? I, oh, we don't have... Ah, why the hell didn't I bring fish to heal this thing up? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I think the smart play here would be... To go back out, um, back to the base. It's not that far away. Heal the 
icky up and we might as well drop the otter off because there's no point in bringing the otter back down here again and we'll just oh shit and then we'll just snag the third one it's gonna take me a little longer to do but it's that's just the safe play right now so let's do that oh my god look at all those jellyfish wow that's why when we come in here to do the cave legit we are bringing basilosaurs Alright, so where... Okay, there... Oh, shit! The deal right there! God damn it! I was not expecting that. And another one. Okay, so I want to get these eels, like, pulled all the way to this end of the room. Come on, you bastards. Then we'll go underneath them. Okay, so same thing, uh, shit. You just kind of try and gather up all the baddies and get them over here. Got to watch out for the the piranhas because they're a lot faster. Um, I wonder if I could pull them down this way a little bit and then go up and around. And I think this is our opportunity here. Grab that. Get on the fish. Don't get disoriented this time. What? <laughs> okay, we did it. We did it. Let's get the hell out of here. And we're out. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to get uh, all my ducks in a row here, and then I'll meet you back at the obelisk, and we will take on the Gamma Dragon. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back at the Obby. I've got all of the artifacts that we need for Gamma Dragon. And uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to um, I'm just keep everybody in one group for now. Uh, what I like to do with the dragon fight is once we get into the arena is I just kind of move everybody around and not let them you know stand in one place to avoid the fireballs as much as possible and we're going to try and stay as far back as possible too so that when the dragon lands it will come to us so that way we can avoid hopefully getting stuck in in the, the lava ditches and stuff i mean that's that's the ideal scenario whether or not it actually happens that way remains to be seen but here we go a gamma dragon Let's um take our soups. And get everybody couraged up here. Uh, and incidentally, none of the theories have eaten any of their veggie cakes so far. Uh, not on the first two fights anyways. All right. Everybody just move around. We'll keep your courage up. There he is up over there. Fresh and then a move. And that's loud. The dragon's wings flapping. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. Everybody attack him. I am not in a good spot here because I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, the fairy is way more prone to uh, fire damage than the rest of them are. I want to try and get over here. Give him a, a roar. And then get away. 
from the fire breath. Sure, everybody over here is all couraged up. Okay, dragon's already about halfway. Oh, okay. We need to move. I don't want to get burnt. Oh, well, so much for that. Shit. Yeah, we're unfortunately at half health because we got fire breathed, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so far so good. We haven't lost anybody. The dragon's about 20% left. So let's just keep everybody moving. Avoid fireballs as much as possible. I know a lot of players will shoot at the dragon while it's in the air, but I prefer to just keep everybody moving here. Uh, we do have to deal with these ads, though. Nuts. All right, get him. And we got fired on again. Yeah, I'm thinking, um, I haven't done a real good job of keeping the UD away from the fire, but we might, we might gonna need, there we go, we might need a little bit tougher UD uh, when we do Alpha Dragon. And there it is, nice, okay. We did not lose anybody. Um, the uh, Yudi was the one that came the closest, and even Big Bird survived. Nice, 80 element. Okay, we'll take it. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to do? Um, oh, is the Dermatology thing? That must have been a mod, eh? I thought that was a vanilla thing. Hmm. We might think about getting that uh, if it's available for ASA. Just so that we can, um, you know, get the get them for the trophy room. But yeah, we have defeated all three Gamma Guardians, ladies and gentlemen, in one episode. And I have to say I'm pretty impressed with my little Gamma Fairy army to the point where I think what we'll do is we may try them out on alpha megapithecus and just see how they do they they have they were they were a lot more durable than i was expecting them to be um so yeah good on them good on them and i'm not even done you know with not even close to being done with mutation stacking so we can uh, although all they will do is just get stronger you know <coughs> cool okay um Let's do this. Let's go Therizinos, and I just want to look at health. Wow. Not a single one of these Theris is badly damaged. That's that's impressive, I have to say. I You know, I was expecting potentially to lose maybe one or two, or... At least to have some that were pretty decently bloodied, but these guys are in really good shape. He's he got banged up a bit, but still. Dang, man. Okay, cool. Very cool. Um Do I have everything I need to do Alpha Megapithecus? I would need to we we'd need to go get artifact of the pack. We got lots of, well, no, actually, what do we need? 
for Megan. I think we need it. We need Devourer pack and something else. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me um, let me look into that, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 